So it's been two years since we purchased Clifford, our 1987 Volkswagen Westphalia camper van, and I think it's time for an updated van tour. Now we have added and fixed several things since then, as well as we've laid out the van, how we like to camp in it. So if you want to see our original tour, I'll leave a link down below. If not, hit that subscribe button and let's show you around. Starting with the exterior, not much has changed since our previous van tour. It is a Vatican style body and it is in very good shape, just minimal rust on it. Now we do have the 16 inch Go Westy rims as well as we have a lift kit. This was done by the previous owner. It lifts it about an inch and a half, so not much, but it's quite nice. This was our recent addition though. So we did add a roof rack, which Matt made himself, as well as a 100 watt solar panel with a PWM charger, which essentially allows us to charge our phones, our cameras, as well as power our brand new fridge. So it's not a ton of power, but it's enough for camping. Moving on, we have our hookup boxes, which we still need to replace, but this is our city water, which was actually cut, so we did replace that. And this is our tank fill. So that goes into the tank of the Westie. That is for shore power. We have an electrical plug there, so you can just hook the Westie up. And that would be our flu vent, if we still had a propane fridge, but we removed that. Speaking of propane, down here is our propane tank, which actually lasts a surprisingly long period of time. It, we went about two weeks on a full tank using the stoves every day for boiling water, dishes, as well as cooking. So quite happy with that. Moving around to the front, nothing's changed, but that is what the front of our vehicle looks like. And now we're back onto the side. So let's head on in. So the first thing you'll notice is our new fridge. This is the ARB 44 liter uh, for Treaser. This was very nice. Now it does take up quite a bit of floor space, but it was actually really unusable floor space at the beginning. And we use this mainly as our cooking seat. So I'll sit here or Matt will sit here and we would end up cooking or just chatting as well as you can use it as a step up to the top bunks which I'll show you that in a sec. And down here on the floor is our drinking water jug. So that's where we use to fill up our water bottles. So let's pop the top and I'll show you around. So to do that, you just press there and you're gonna notice something really nice and new here. We added a new pop top tent. So this is the acrylic three window tent from Go Westy. It's been quite a nice addition. It was a pain in the butt to install, but love it as well as we added lift struts in the rear to make lifting and lowering the pop top a lot easier so moving inside we'll show you the upper bunk which is right here so this actually lifts forward and you can sleep two people on the upper bed and down here is the kitchen so this just unclips like that and in here we have our two burner propane stove as well as our running cold water that can be either from the city or from our 50 liter tank. And like we said, this is, we don't use this for drinking. This is just for dishwashing, brushing our teeth or cooking. In this drawer, we have our utensils, our lighter for the propane stove, some tongs, forks and knives. In this cabinet, we have an assortment of kitchen things such as our plates, bowls, mugs, coffee, kettle, rags, soap, garbage bags, it's an assortment. In this cabinet is actually where the old propane fridge used to be, but now it is our food storage. So this is usually stacked up with food when we go away on a trip, as well as our pots and pans drawer. So that contains literally all of our cooking stuff. This was another big reason why we wanted to remove the fridge because we gained so much storage in this cabinet. This is just our utility cabinet. It has basically our, our water hookup stuff, some electrical stuff, other cords and bungees. Above the kitchen, we have this shelf where we used to just store things like our paper towels, our compostable toilet paper, wipes, umbrella, bug spray. Moving down, we have our interior light, which provides a decent amount of light at night. Wish we had a bit more, but 
it's LED. And then this is our table. So our table just swings out like so. And you can use this to eat, work, sit. One of the ways that we really like to use the table is to kind of swing it like that. And then one person's on this bench over here and the other person's sitting on the fridge over there. And that's usually how we will eat our meals. Another configuration is we will lift this whole table up from this and place it on that mount over there and then kind of have it swung over the driver and passenger seat to free up the space in the back. And under the table, we have two more cabinets. In this one, we like to keep our electronics as well as we also have road games so when it's raining and there's nothing to do. In this drawer, we like to keep our toiletries, our first aid kit, as well as eye masks, earplugs, afterbite. All those want to get in our Westie. You know, life's great in the Westie. And here is our hanging wardrobe. So we'll place our jackets, sweaters. Below there will actually go our shoes because it's quite deep, as well as we have a mirror. So you can look at yourself and get ready and, you know, see what you're doing. And the rest of the clothes we place in the upper cabinet. So we have my side and a mat side. It's not a whole lot of room, but it's enough for a couple weeks worth of clothes, which is plenty. So this is our bench seat, which actually folds into our bed, which is where we sleep most of the time. We never really sleep up top. So let me show you how that folds around. So underneath the bench is more storage where we actually keep our camping chairs as well as ax and some other stuff. And then we pull it out. Nice and flat like that. And then we just have our comforter and we had make our bed and sleep in it the size of the bed is decent it's a little on the small side i mean we're not very large people and it's pretty cozy for us when i was pregnant and we had my pregnancy pillow here it was very cozy for two people so it's a nice bed for lounging though especially when you pop the back which speaking of back let's head on there opening up the back we have more storage up here this is another general storage cabinet. We have our tool bag, our city water hookup, a curtain for the front, bug screen for the back, manual for repairs. And underneath the bed, by lifting all this up, is the engine, which we didn't show in our last video, but I will show you guys in this video. Just remove that. So we have a 2.1 liter water-cooled Boxster engine. It was actually rebuilt in 2018 by the previous owner, as well as the coolant lines have been replaced and we did the fuel lines. It makes about 90 horsepower, which struggles on the hills, especially when we are loaded up on steep hills. The max we can get is about 60 kilometers an hour. Very slowly, well, like 50. Do you wanna get out and push maybe? I don't know, it might help. But on the flats, we get about 100 kilometers an hour, no problem. It's not the fastest or the most fuel efficient or the most reliable, but we get there. And now up here behind our driver's seat, we mounted our solar charge controller as well as our battery charger, which allows us to charge the battery when we are plugged into shore power. One of the nice things about these front seats are that they actually swivel, so you can reconfigure the interior for different seating positions. However, though, the driver's seat is a little awkward because the steering wheel gets in the way, but you can still swivel it. They're also, super comfortable seats which has been really nice for driving long distances and the armrests are pretty clutch and other than that it's a pretty basic interior you have a gigantic steering wheel and you sit right on top of the the wheels so it feels like you're driving a bus which is quite fun you have a lot of visibility which is also really nice and ours is an automatic which we thought would be an issue but it's not it's just a fun vehicle to drive Plus we have our radio, but you can't really hear that because the road noise is super loud when you're driving. And that's our West Valley for you. So I hope you enjoyed this van tour. If you have any other questions, leave them below in the comments and we'll try to answer them for you. Bye.